Intelligent humanoid robots, as shown in science fiction films, are still a long way off, but more South Korean enterprises in a variety of industries have begun to use simpler robots to stay competitive in the long run. Not only telecom operators and search engines are hurrying to deploy robots, but so are tech firms that rely on online platforms to cultivate the long-term potential of robotics in conjunction with artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and next-generation mobile technologies. In today's video, we are going to talk about the best South Korean female robot. But before we begin, everyone who's new to our channel, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insights in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Robots March Into More Business Sectors in Korea the domestic robot market was valued at 5.33 trillion won or $4.57 billion in 2019, according to the Korea Robot Industry Promotion Agency. Sensing an upward momentum, the Korean government said that it will assist in increasing the value of the robot industry to 20 trillion won by 2025. Since the beginning of the pandemic early last year, tech companies have been pushing for automation, with users preferring contactless transactions to avoid COVID-19 infections. Telecom companies in Korea are eager to grow their robot-based businesses to take advantage of their vast infrastructure and subscriber bases. After jointly developing a 5G-based smart factory industrial robot with Hyundai Robotics last year, KT recently began selling service-purpose robots on its website. KT said it will combine its 5G solutions with robotic technology to increase its share of the robot market which it claimed would target both the industrial and service sectors. After successfully introducing an automated robot butler with an enhanced artificial intelligence voice assistant and tech solutions that include visual mapping, KT is partnering up with local hotels in particular. KT is currently working on a new generation of robots that will be used in other industries, such as postal delivery using robot concierge technology. To put its 5G network technologies into robots, SK Telecom is forming relationships with startups and IT organizations. The country's largest mobile carrier debuted a 5G-based disinfection robot at a local hospital last April 2021, complete with a real-time location system and artificial intelligence-based facial recognition solution. LGU Plus, a major mobile carrier, is collaborating with Unmanned Solution, a mobility startup, to build a 5G-powered autonomous robot. The robot's prototype demonstrated the capacity to move around in a defined area while performing safety procedures and inspecting facility equipment. LGU Plus said that it would introduce new robots for a variety of tasks, including environmental management and virus prevention. Furthermore, small and medium-sized businesses used to be the most active robot producers in South Korea. Large corporations such as Samsung, LG, Hyundai, Doosan, Hanwha, and KT, on the other hand, have lately indicated that they would be focusing on the robotics business as a future source of development, highlighting the robotics sector's growth potential. There are a few points to note about these huge corporations' efforts to establish a foundation in the robotics industry. Through aggressive purchases, they can save a large amount of time. More instances of major domestic corporations with cash making a move on overseas companies will emerge, such as Hyundai Motor Company's surprising acquisition of Boston Dynamics earlier this year. Large Korean corporations are keeping their doors open for prospects of open innovation with potential global robotic startups, even if it is not in the form of acquisitions. They are aggressively targeting the worldwide market from the product development phase forward, leveraging their existing global sales service infrastructure to ensure rapid international distribution. For example, Doosan Robotics targeted the global market early on, and foreign markets such as Europe and US now account for over 60% of Doosan's sales. There is great promise that in the near future, robots from large Korean companies will be available to overseas customers. With a rising number of domestic success stories, the robot venture ecosystem is getting increasingly diverse. Customers and financing markets are both showing an increased interest in these projects. Rainbow Robotics, a producer of Cobots, is a prime example of a local OEM business that has proven its worth by successfully going public on the COSDAC market in February 2021. 
Its sales in 2020 were just 5.4 billion Korean won, yet the firm was valued at over KRW 500 billion immediately after listing and is now the focus on the market. Other cobot OEMs such as Neuromika and autonomous driving enabled logistics robot makers such as Twinny are going to go public as well, so anticipate more success stories in the future. Robots are being used by service providers to add innovation to their present business operations. Food tech firms such as LoungeX, which is known for its barista robot, and Robert Chicken and DDEC, who are known for chicken frying robots, are making their mark in this way. These firms are learning from the errors of the first generation of robotic food tech ventures in Silicon Valley and achieving quick growth by building a solid basis for their service and operations. To prepare youngsters for the AI future, South Korea's small robots into preschools. The administration of the country is cheerfully integrating robots into society, beginning with the bright-eyed and bushy-tailed youth of Seoul. While robots engaging with children for educational purposes isn't new, they're already being used to teach social skills to children with autism. The new tech-based teaching aids being tried in kindergartens to help youngsters with their learning are at first, and it's still going on right now. This is how it goes. Seoul's administration said, as first reported by The Guardian, that the city is home to a pilot initiative aimed at preparing young minds for a high-tech future. The robots are presently being tested in 300 nurseries and daycare centers, with the government proposing the program for youngsters aged 3 to 5. UB Tech Robotics Alpha Mini, despite its diminutive form, is making its spectacular entrance into academic services. The robot, which was created to be educational, is not a toy. It is particularly designed to assist instructors in the classroom with young children. The robot helper, which stands 24.5 centimeters tall, can do a variety of jobs including dancing, conducting sing-alongs, and narrating stories. Children can imitate the Alpha Mini's push-ups and one-legged balancing, making it a great tool for teaching Kung Fu. Isn't it amazing? It's almost enough to make you forget about Terminator-style situations. And for good reason. They aren't quite as frightening as you may imagine. The robot's eyes can wink, blink, and turn, and were created with kid-friendliness in mind. Furthermore, during talks, its pupils might become heart-shaped. It can even sneeze if it wasn't enough. It can also snap images using a camera connected to its helmet, which is then uploaded to a tablet for viewing. Alpha Mini comes with a variety of features pre-installed, including an HD camera, 14 servo motors, 3 sensors, 4 microphones, smooth stereo sound, and even a gyroscope. The robots can recognize roughly 75 spoken commands in English and are set to interact with Windows PC, iOS, and Android tablet programs. The future tiny assistants can communicate organically and intuitively, and they're equipped with a face recognition system that lets them effortlessly follow children's gestures, allowing them to instantly bond with bots and break the ice with technology in general. What's even more fascinating about these helpful droids is that they can be programmed by youngsters. Kids may assist in class and learn more about mechanics and computer science by using the Alpha Mini. The instance of instructor Byun Seo Yeon, who visited the pleasant and energetic Maru daycare in Seoul, was also mentioned in The Guardian. The robots help with the kids' creativity, Seo Yeon said to Agence France Press. The Alpha Mini employs artificial intelligence to communicate, move, and recognize faces and things, according to Generation Robots, a European robotics distributor. The Alpha Mini is available for purchase for 1,200 euros or just over 1,000 pounds. They function as sleek and clever automatons that can construct individualized lessons for custom students or small groups of learners. Because they are programmable, people may use them to set out a range of tasks such as writing, reading, history, and arithmetic. Generation Robots also sells the Alpha Mini Robot Curriculum, an educational kit for 60 euro or 50 pounds which includes the robots and helps youngsters to learn the fundamentals of Robotech through student and instructor books. In the future, learning how to manage AI and associated tools will be very crucial, Han Dong Sog, a member of the Seoul government's child care division, told AFP. We believe having this experience in nursery schools will have a lasting effect throughout their youth and as adults. So far, it appears like everyone is enjoying the Alpha Mini, particularly the pupils at Maru, who are pleased with their new bot pal. It has been included in the everyday routine of a class of four to five-year-olds. Its capacity to fart on demand appears to be a highlight during gaming. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you get to learn a thing from this episode. What do you think about robotics in South Korea? Do you think our country needs also robots for education? 
please let us know your answers and thoughts in the comment section. Before it ends, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.